So this vlog is gonna be called Last Day. It's the last day of 2018 and the last day at work. 2018 is coming to a close and got some of my stuff, my board, my beloved board that has come uh, for three jobs with me. So VCA gave it to me, so I'm taking it with me to my next job, my next adventure. And um, I'm out of here, it's sad. Uh, I got to say goodbye to some of the staff as the official email went out, but here's the better things in 2019, and I wore waterproof mascara so I wouldn't cry today, but um, I think this is a good thing. That's what everyone keeps telling me, and um, we'll see how it goes. I'm really sad for my clients and my patients. Uh, I tend to get really close to them, and I'm going to miss a lot of them, and I think they'll miss me too, so... I better get to work. Um, thank you for sharing this journey with me. I know I have a tissue in a pocket here somewhere. So, um, clean myself up. Wipe that. <laughs> and um, time to, to go in and do what needs to be done. And um, I'm excited for 2019. I'm scared, but I'm excited. So, here we go. All right, hey. give me, give me yours. Oh, okay. You're gonna, you're gonna be like, oh my god. You're gonna be like, holy crap. Oh, I can't <laughs> see a thing, but I don't think they're strong enough. Oh my god. Oh god, I can't see. You. <laughs> Guys, how do we look? We can't see you. Seriously. Oh. Give yeah, me. Because <laughs> she grabbed mine. She tried to steal mine, and then we realized it didn't work for either of us. Oh, I don't need my glasses. I'm like, God, I can see a thing with your glasses. I know. I told you. <laughs> Nanook's a dog that is out 25 months. Freaking awesome, 25 months. And when I first met him, his cancer had metastasized to both the chest and the abdominal cavities. So seminoma is an uncommon tumor of the testicles. Uh, actually, after we got him in remission on carboplatin chemotherapy, we, uh, he had his castration and it was actually in both of his testicles, even though one was twice the size of the other. It was huge. They were this big when we first started. His other one was about half the size, but interestingly, the cancer was in both of his testicles. So he was diagnosed in November of 2016, um, had gone to multiple lymph nodes in the chest and abdomen. We did CT and cytology right around Thanksgiving, and then relapsed two months after that, we switched him to Palladia, uh, oral chemotherapy, uh, everything was going really, really well for about another year, but it was really obviously progressive in October of this year, so two months ago. We switched chemotherapy, and then recently his liver values have elevated, and I'm super annoyed because that means I need to stop his chemo. Wanted to do an ultrasound today, but dad wants to hold off due to finances, so he's going to come back in two weeks and see Dr. Huter. Hi, Halo. Hi. You did a good dog. How you doing? So Halo is 10 years old and her lymphoma is still in remission. She is out 14 months. So she was diagnosed on Halloween. Baby girl, there you go. And she's still in remission. Your lymph nodes feel good. Um, she has this low blood protein thing. So we're just gonna check her blood work with that. And get you out the door and we'll see her back in about six weeks. Nice. All right, let me finish her record. She can go sit with her family. Like I said, in remission. And that is a perfect way to end 2018. Roxy. Roxy. Roxy had a mast cell tumor on her toe and Dr. Bonzinski cut it off and removed her lymph node. She was metastatic. And if her toe looks good, you're starting chemo. Yay. Yay.
All right, guys, Lorelei is a cute little three-legged kitty. So we don't see a lot of tripod kitties. We tend to see it more commonly in dogs, like with bone cancer, that get amputations to remove their affected leg with bone cancer. Little Lorelei is 13 years old, and she had a weird cancer. She had an uncommon cancer affecting her bone, hemangiosarcoma, which is a blood vessel cancer. We typically see that in dogs in the spleen and the heart, sometimes the liver, but you can see it in the skin and the subcutaneous layers as as well. Hers was causing a fracture of her leg and that's why we amputated her. Today is her sixth and final chemo so it works out well because she will be wrapping up as I'm wrapping up and the team is doing a great job. She'll come back in a month for some chest x-rays and ultrasound and hopefully continue to do great. The little little <laughs> <laughs> All right little Lorelai you want to give us one more show? Yeah. Come on my little movie star. Come on. This is our last patient of 2018. What do you think? You better be in remission. You better be in remission. There you go. You are not allowed to relapse. Yes, no. Those feel good. A little lipoma here we can try to stick. I mean, I don't know, it's a lipoma. See something, do something, why wait, aspirate. But there's one kind of in her uh, right armpit area. But her lymph nodes feel good. Hey. All right, let's aspirate. Dakota, you were in remission. I told you, you were my last patient of 2018, and you're perfect. And what better way to celebrate than being in remission?